Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the tiny flower stitch. It works up really really fast and it's super easy. It's just a one row repeat so it's a great pattern for a beginner. I'm going to use those for a washcloth. You can of course um, use it for a scarf because the other side looks exactly the same. It's a great stitch for a baby blanket, like I said, for a scarf, for whatever you would like to make. And I'm going to use it for a washcloth and this is what it looks like. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful stitch. Today I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. You also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and the yarn I'm using today is the Mila Mia Sweden. It's an extra fine merino and it's super, super soft. If you would like to make, for example, a scarf or a cowl out of this stitch, I really, really would recommend this yarn. If you want to make a washcloth, then use 100% cotton. I love working with the cotton from Paintbox Yarns. They have so many beautiful colors, but like I said, you can use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size. But I will put the link for the yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot. And for this pattern, you will need a multiple of two. So if it's 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, this is all you have to do. So grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn and pull through. For my example today, I'm going to crochet 20 chains. And like I said, it's super easy to adjust the size. All you have to do is keep crocheting in a multiple of two. Once you're done with your chain, we will need the fourth stitch from your hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch, so we will count from here. So one, two, three, and four. Now insert your hook into the fourth stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have two loops on your hook, and now grab the yarn and pull through two. So a single crochet. Now you will chain two and into the same stitch again, you will insert your hook and work one more single crochet. Now we will skip the next stitch and into the one right next to it, you will again single crochet, chain two and single crochet into the same stitch. In the first row, your um, chain will start to curl. This is totally normal and it will start to lay down flat once you crochet a couple more rows. So again, skip the next stitch into the one right next to it. So skip, go into the next and again, one single crochet, chain two, and into the same stitch, one more single crochet. I will show you one more time. Skip the next stitch, go into the one right next to it, and again, single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet. Just keep repeating this all the way along until you get to your last stitch. And I will be back in just a moment. So I'm here at the end of my row and we have two stitches left. And again, we will skip the next one and into the very last one, we will crochet a single crochet. Just in this row, we will crochet a single crochet into the last stitch, just like this. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's going to curl a little bit, but this is totally normal. Now for row two, this will be our repeat row. You will chain two, turn your work around. And now we will work into the chain two space. So here's the single crochet. Here is the chain two, just right here. And here's the next 
single crochet. So we will go right into the chain two space and do exactly the same thing we just did in row one. So one single crochet, chain two, insert into the same stitch again, and one more single crochet. And again, go into the next chain two space right here and single crochet, chain two, and one more time into the same chain two space, one single crochet. So it's always the same repeat, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And again, go into the next chain two space and single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet. And you will repeat this all the way along until you get into your last chain two space. It's a super easy and fun pattern. So again, into the next chain two space, you will work a single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet. I'm here almost at the end. Here is my last chain two space. So again, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And now to get a straight edge, we are going to crochet one double crochet into the stitch right here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch right here. I'll show you one more time. So yarn over. Here you can see is the single crochet from the previous row and here is the chain two. So you will insert into the stitch right here, grab the yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn and pull through two. And now we have this straight edge. And from now on, our last stitch is always a double crochet. I will show you one more time how to start the row. So chain two, turn your work around and we will do exactly the same thing. So chain two, go into the chain two space and now single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Again, go into the next stitch, single crochet, chain two and single crochet. Again, go into the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet in the chain two space. It's super, super easy and fun to crochet. And once you get the hang out of it, you really just enjoy, relax, and keep crocheting. It's super, super easy, and it works up really fast. So again, in the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. <clears throat> we are almost here to the end. I have one more chain two space right here. So we will insert and do exactly the same thing. And now again, it's really important. So we get the straight edge. Here is our single crochet into the stitch right next to it. You will yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up, and now finish with a double crochet. So grab the yarn, pull through two, and pull through two. So here is our double crochet into the last stitch. Now again, chain two, turn your work around and repeat. You can slowly see the pattern. It's so, so cute. And like I said, it works up really, really fast. So I will show you one more time. Chain two into the chain two space. Keep repeating the same thing. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And I will repeat this until I have 
a couple more rows so you can see the stitch even better so just keep repeating this until you get the desired height you need if it's for your washcloth or if it's for your scarf this is just the row we have to repeat all the way along and this is what it looks like it's such a pretty stitch and here you can see it even better the back side looks exactly the same and i really really love this like i said if you want to make a scarf or a blanket it's so so pretty and this is what the back side looked like now i will show you because you can see we have from the chain two spaces those little bumps or spikes on top i'm going to show you now how to get a straight edge so all you're going to do again is chain two turn your work around and now we will skip the chain two spaces we will be just working into the single crochets so this is a single crochet this this and here so I will insert my hook into the single crochet right here and work a single crochet. Skip the chain two space, go into the next single crochet and work a single crochet. Don't pull too, too tight, just all nice and loose. And this is all I'm going to do. I will go in every single crochet and crochet a single crochet. And this is how you get the nice straight edge. So I'm going to repeat this all the way along until I get to the end. So just one single crochet in every single crochet from the previous row. Okay, I'm here in my last single crochet and we will again yarn over insert a hook into the stitch right here and finish with a double crochet just like we did before and now we have this straight edge and if you want to finish off all you have to do is chain one pull tight grab your scissors cut it and now just pull the hook all the way through and now we have a knot right here and our work is all nice and secure and it's not going to open up on us anymore. And now you can see we have this beautiful straight edge just like on the row where we started. And now the only thing left is just sew in the yarn ends. To sew in the yarn end we will grab our darning needle, pull the yarn through and now I will just go through some stitches so just like that grab the needle pull all the way through just don't pull too too tight now I will turn my work and go through the opposite direction again through some stitches just like this, pull through, turn your work around and do this one more time. Of course, you can do it a couple times, but my yarn end is almost sewn in and you can't even tell where it's at. And again, turn your work and I will go one more time. And now we and cut the yarn and we are done i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial i can wait to see what you're going to do with this stitch thank you so so much for watching have a great time crocheting and i hope to see you back soon bye